it's not like you go toil away on uh, a work of art that's about some problem you have and then you don't have that problem anymore. You work on something that you care about and that changes the way you might and someone else might like think about a certain thing. So you might look at it differently or you might, um, you know, you think differently about this thing and metaphorically life. That's how it, um, it, um, it makes your world a little bit bigger every time and that's, that's why, it, that's why it, it's almost the opposite of therapy. It's like uh, you, you're, you, you, you don't fix anything, you just, you just make more possibilities. I stop fairly often. I, I like the moments, like you see a, a trash can with something so gigantic trying to, that somebody tried to stuff in it and it's just so ridiculous and then the thing fell over and all the shit falls out and it's like, it's just a funny scene, it's just absurd, you know, and I like, it's like a story. You know, I work all the time. I get my my biggest inspiration and ideas when I'm like lying flat on my back, half asleep. You have about like 30 seconds to remember the idea you had before you come back to full like neurotic. Like I'm trying to write it down state, you know? Pain and ejaculation would be the times when you're most inhabiting your body, when you're most aware. Maybe there's a really intense thing sometimes like in the, the first few moments of being awake, you know, where you're not sure if you want that, so you're like really hyper aware. Uncharacteristically or um, overly emotional about something, um, oftentimes it's due to fatigue rather than a sort of um, more powerful, like, uh, like uh, overarching sort of meeting, you know? Sometimes it's just tired and then you thought of the thing you didn't want to think about and then you start to cry. I have a, a seven-year-old godson that makes me almost cry every time I see him because he's awesome. Just because he's a little kid, you know, you just want to hold him. You just want to like, you, you, you uh, but that's just some bullshit people have because it's like, you're like, you don't want them to feel the pain you feel or something. It's like, uh, you want to spare them. I think there's a huge confusion in, in, in people's emotions toward like um, the sort of like pain and suffering of other people. So I just think there's a whole secret selfish side to all those emotions and stuff. Caffeine, protein, love, fear, loneliness, anger, uh, doubt and doubt and doubt and that keeps me going <laughs> I don't know